Hey folks, it's Kurt from Whitetails Deer Hunting, and today I'm going to show you guys everything that I pack when I get ready to go out and do a scouting trip for deer. First thing I have is a good backpack that's got a metal internal frame and it's also not only got a waist belt on it but it's got a chest belt on it and some real soft uh, cushions for the shoulder straps. Uh, if you're going to be out 8-10 miles in a day you got to have a backpack that's comfortable, multiple different pockets to hold everything you need and uh, this one has done a great job for me over the last couple of years. Uh, company is called Camel. And uh, I've had it for about seven or eight years. Stitching hasn't fallen out. It's still in great shape. And I have my tethered one stick with an aider with the gear ties holding it up. And I also have here uh, my lineman's belt so that I can uh, get up into a tree and have both hands to be able to do some work. I have TP. I got a flashlight and a headlamp. A pair of binos that I wear around my shoulders and chest so that I can see things a little bit further distance away. Uh, knife, bug net, and bug spray, which is huge. Uh, scent killer that I can go ahead and put onto my hands and camera as I'm putting them up. I find that scent killer gold is the one that I found that's most effective. Uh, also insect repellent, and uh, I make sure that I get the permethrin uh, and I spray it on my pant legs and my belt line and the cuffs of my uh, shirt and also on my hat and around my neckline. That way I'm trying to prevent ticks from getting on me as much as possible. I always bring an extra portable charger for my phone. I've got my phone and my phone is all set up with Onyx so that I can go ahead and uh, plot things on the maps couple of bungee cords if I need them. It's always good to have extra batteries. And then I have a couple of different types of tripods. I've got this UB size tripod here that's flexible, can stand on the ground or wrap around a branch. And I also have a real small handheld tripod that I'm actually using right now on the GoPro that I'm shooting from. I also have this mount right here, which is great that you can mount uh, vertically so that it can hold your phone sideways or you can mount it horizontally so that it can hold your GoPro. Plenty of paracord for not only hanging the cameras, but in case I need to put up uh, a grapevine mock scrape when I'm out there. I've got a mixed bag here that's got batteries, rubber bands, lighter, cloths. You can see I've got my keys for all my locks right here. I've got all my extra batteries for my GoPro and my Handycam. I've got all my SD cards right here. I've got a lab mic in case I decide to use that. Gotta have a lunch box. I've got my handy cam right there along with another microphone so the sound is a bit better. And I've got two mounts for my actually GoPro. One that goes on my head that you see here and another one that goes on my chest. Depending upon how far the trip is, I either take my large Boda bag or just my water bottle. And then I have two cameras uh, that I'm going to be putting out on this scouting trip. One is a cell cam, which I've got in a box, and I've camouflaged that cell camera case, also having a lock on it. I've also got a Vickery camera right here that's an SD card camera that I put some extra camouflage tape around the uh, base of it. We've got two cable locks right here, which is really important. And I'm trying something new this year. I'm trying the Evercalm Conquest to put on the cameras to try and eliminate some of the human scent. Uh, I tried another product last year and it did not work well at all. So this is something I'm trying new this year. Also, uh, phone and phone charger, just in case I need it. If I'm in the vehicle, in between places. And then finally, I got a mixed bag of all sorts of electronic equipment, batteries, extra microphones, uh, extension cords, whatever else I need uh, for the trip to charge stuff up. Actually, this trip that I'm doing right here, Lee and I are doing our third annual Pennsylvania uh, scouting trip. 
And more than anything on this trip, Lee and I get away, we relax, we get to talk about things for a couple of days. We find some places that we know we want to come back and set up and hunt for the fall. So again, quick gear dump for you guys, giving you an idea of everything that I take on one of my scouting trips. This is Kurt from Whitetails Deer Hunting. Hoping you guys like the video. Don't forget to subscribe. Hope you guys have a great day. We'll talk to you soon.